So easily one of the coolest anime movies is got to be Paprika. I mean, a lot of films and directors have taken from it and used elements in it and it's just one of those animes that's just awesome. You know, yeah, Kira's badass and you know there's others, but Paprika is easily one of my favorite, right? And it it's just so wild, right? It deals with like the dreamscape and dream elements and a machine that can, you know, in a sense help you you know, to cope with different things, but via your dreams and, you know, everything in the subconscious. And it's just phenomenal. You know, given that it is, it was never a series, it was just a movie, it made it all that much better because, you know, it's not dragged out. There's not all this, there's not these arcs, there's not, you know, time gaps or whatever, you know, there's no filler. It's just all movie, all story, all detail. But the story follows this character, Atsuka, Atsuko, who is a scientist and she's a dream, but she's a dream detective, right? So she's, they're creating this thing called the dc mini and it's it's a it's pretty much amplifies your dreams and it allows people to enter your dreams and be able to communicate with you and talk to you it's very inception right like christopher nolan definitely saw paprika right definitely um because it's it's very much so the same similar concept except the dc mini is this small little device that goes on your head but when you have it on too long it kind of starts to fuse with you and you know it becomes a part of you in a sense and you get trapped in the dream state but then you become stronger in the dream state it's kind of like a weird hellraiser mix you know going there's you know meets meets freddy krueger you know it's the worst of the worst if it falls pretty much if it falls into the wrong hands and and that's pretty much what happens so they're creating this dc mini and they're you know they're going to use it for psychiatric patients and and it, one of the prototypes ends up being stolen by one of the people that actually work you know one of the scientists working at their facility and he pretty much gives it to this guy this random corporate asshole and you know they end up using it to kill some of the people that are that were working on the project and also take over you know minds of politicians or you know and anybody that they see fit to you know obviously make make whatever they want to do whether it's world domination or whatever i forget what it is but you know it's pretty much a really really diabolical scheme that they're going to try with this with this dream machine and there's this other detective guy like an actual detective in the real world who's you know on the case of trying to help them while meanwhile atsuko as her alter ego paprika that's the name of her her dream her dream detective is also on the case in the dream world and it's just it's outrageous right and by the dc mini being used by so many individuals and it be like the dreamscape becoming stronger and more you know more uh, visceral to actually be in it starts fusing with reality and you know there's ends up being a clash of the dream world and the real world you know mid movie and it it just goes it's insane everything hits it's the everything hits the fan and it's just balls to the wall awesome it's it's one of those animes that definitely could not be a movie you know all these animes are becoming live actions and stuff and paprika is one that just would not be able to be live action because it's so outrageous but you know things like paranoia agent you know is also very paprika-esque where it just couldn't really be done but you know, the fact that they're in movie form, that's awesome. You know, you don't got to worry about, like I said, watching a bunch of episodes or going through these arcs or background stories or whatever. You just watch the movie and it's like a normal movie, but it's an anime. You know, it's it's fantastic. But I would definitely suggest you check it out if you've never seen it. I think you would love it. And, you know, again, considering that all these animes are being brought to live action, it's like, just go back to the anime. Just go back to the drawings and the art and how these creators created it and intended for it to be versus all these directors who think they know what's up and want to put their own spin on it or make it fit for modern audiences or whatever you want to say. It's just not, you know, it's not how it was intended to be. But yeah, Paprika is fantastic. Like I said, check it out. Um, you could probably find it on Country Roll or you could probably download it online or find it on YouTube easily. But yeah, it's, it's a fantastic movie and a fantastic anime. And I really suggest you sit down and take a look. <laughs> but yeah, this has been Ghost in the Craig, an anime advocate here for you. And, uh, you know, like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>